in your work and in your books, you talk a lot about complexity science and its importance in looking at leadership today in healthcare. Can you tell us more about what complexity science is? Well, you know, there's a lot of definitions of complexity science, and we can probably even get lost in the definition. But the one that, that appeals to me the most is the simplest, of course. And the National Academy of Science has simply defined um, complexity as um, a contextual framework for the movement of existence, if that makes sense. So, translating that into real language for real people, it's, it's kind of a, a new way of thinking of our human experience that focuses um, on the relationships and the interactions and intersections of that experience rather than on the functions and activities and form of that experience. And, and, and it influences the way we describe almost anything that we do. And it's reflected in almost anything that we do. Now, Tim, wouldn't you say that the nature of complexity really helps us as leaders to understand the randomness of the real world? And right. that things are not predictable and orderly as much as we want them to be. Right. Well, you know, what we can do if we want to differentiate complexity from, from the ways we normally think is think about the industrial age or the age, the, the, the non-computer age, where everything was really kind of functional and fixed and kind of finite mm -hmm. and, and machine-driven. So that if you, if you put a kind of a, a theological spin on it, in the industrial age you'd see, um, you'd see God as the, uh, as the driver of a big machine. Mm -hmm. um, so, that, um, so that the universe was essentially a big machine. And if you get into complexity science and post-Einstein and all of that kind of thing, and you begin to say, okay, how would you define it in relationship to what God was? You'd say, well, um, God saw the universe as a great thought, not a machine. Well, when you think about, mm -hmm. when you think about stuff as a thought versus as a machine, there's a whole different way of putting that together. There's a whole different way of, of perceiving yeah. and, and languaging and moving in the notion of a less bounded, more fluid, more relational thought than a machine which is functional and gear-related and, you know, structural and all of that kind of thing.